we're going to use these wooden kitchen utensils for our next bargain store project. I'm going to make a rubber band powered car and probably make a mousetrap powered car one after another using these. I was just about to get some CDs out to make the wheels and I remembered in the comments on one of my other projects uh, Pascal Kinds or Kins, Pascal Kins, Kinds, sorry about the name had said could I make a project entirely out of wood um, so I've just been out in the garage found some scrap plywood and cut myself some discs. They're about the same size as CDs. Um, they're not perfectly round, I'm not very good at cutting circles, but they should do us wheels. So I shall have some wooden wheels to go with my wooden kitchen utensils to make this car out of. Right, I've drilled a few holes. I'm going to use my usual flower canes for the axles. I was thinking of using one of these for the axles, um, but the wood's not really... Uh, well, I can't use it at that end. It wouldn't be thick enough. I could use it at this end, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use these for my axles. And I'm, I'm going to make the distance between the two sides of the chassis about the width of one of my mouse traps because then I can convert it quickly from a rubber band powered car to a mouse trap powered car. Where I've drilled the holes for the front axle it's made the wood very weak, so I've actually strengthened it by adding a couple of bits of cane, top and bottom. I haven't actually fitted this mouse trap in place yet. I've just checked that I've got the distance right. So um, after I've used it as a rubber band powered car, I shall fit that, and then we'll try it out as a mouse trap car. hot glue in these cross members in place to give it a bit of strength. As this is all wood, I could have used wood glue, but I'm using hot glue for the speed. Right. That's the wheels in place on the axles. Just need to put a bit of tie rubber band around there and a hook on the back axle and we can do, go and do a test run. There we are. That's the hook on the back axle, just a bit of paper clip bent round it and left sticking up so I can hook on the rubber band or later on the fishing line from the mouse trap. Right, test run time. Rubber band attached. Just wind it up. Connect it onto that hook. Get the camera ready, point it in the right direction, and release. Okay, that's the length of my kitchen. That's my rubber band powered car, made out, made out of wooden kitchen utensils.
basically two spoons or a spoon and a spatula or something or other and I made the wheels out of wood as well now we'll go and put the rubber, uh, not the rubber band, we'll now go and put the mouse trap in place and make it into a mouse trap car right then what we're going to do is fit this mouse trap straight on the back here like I showed earlier I'll just hot glue it in place um, I've put a bit of sandpaper around here, rubbed it smooth because that's where the um, fishing line is going to go and I've got my bit of fishing line I'm just waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up and then we'll glue it into place Right, I've tied my bit of fishing line on it's tied tight to the lever arm and it's just long enough to reach round to get to the hook on the axle so another test run test run time connect that to the back axle Wants to go before we're even ready. Okay, lift the camera up so we can follow it. And there we go. The length of the kitchen, that's my measure of performance, which is about five metres. So, summary time. We've got two wooden kitchen utensils, a stirring spoon and a spatula, I'm told by my wife. Uh, the wheels I've cut out of some scrap plywood just so that the whole thing's made out of wood. Uh, the axles are cane, uh, flower canes. Uh, those cross members are also out of the same cane. And you saw it as a rubber band powered car, and now you've seen it as a mouse trap car. Very simple conversion. I haven't bothered to extend the lever arm at all, I've just kept it short so it's not going to go for a great distance but it starts off quickly and gets, uh, gets to where it's going quickly. So that's Bargain Shop Project number 37, another two, pr two cars for the price of one. <laughs>